Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Really interesting brain test for you today. We need to find the answer to this problem. We have that 4 plus 2 equal to 6, 4 plus 4 equal to 14, and we need to find the last the last row. We have 4 plus 6 equal to, and we need to find this answer. Right here on the right hand side, we have a lot of options. So right now I suggest you to pause the video real quick and try to solve it by yourself. And of course, after 30 seconds, we will check our answer. It will be more interesting for you. And of course, for me, how many answers will be, will be correct or not correct correct. Okay, let's try to solve it. We have 4 plus 2 equal to 6, which is absolutely incorrect. We have 4 plus 4 equal to 14, which is absolutely incorrect as well. But what we need to do in our case, I'm going to start with this trick. Let's change addition by multiplication. So let's not add, but multiply. We'll have 4 multiplying by 2. So as a result, we'll have 8. And let's do the same logic in the second line. We have 4, not a plus but multiplying so 4 times 4 equal to equal to 16 so I hope you understand this step we just change change addition by multiplication but why I why I do this because if you look closely to our numbers we have in the first line we have 6 and we have 8 in the second line we have 14 and we have 16 if you look closely and if we think a little bit we can see that if there is a pattern between these numbers because because right here we have six right here eight what we what we do we just need to subtract two from this eight so subtract two and we will have our our six and right here we have 16 how can we get 14 of course subtraction by by two so as you can see if we multiply it and if we from this result if we subtract two we have our answer we have our numbers but let's check our logic maybe we'll have this option it will be really good so firstly we multiply it we have four times six if we multiply it we have four times six we have 24 but in our case we subtract two so from here we need to subtract two so 24 minus two we have as a result 2022. 20, this is my approach to this problem. And right now, let's let's see. Maybe we'll have this option. It will be really good. So we have this option, option B. But what about you? Write your suggestion in comment. Write your question in comment. It will be really interesting to read about it. Maybe you find another pattern between all of this number. It will be really interesting, of course, as well. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your like. Please don't forget to follow my YouTube channel. It's really important for me. And of course, I try to make content every day. Try to make any uh, every interesting math problem. Try to find to, to, to just need to you to enjoy this problem. I really appreciate your comments. Thank you and have a great day.